a weekend sales video coming up. It's Sunday, it's 10 to 10, and I'm just about to head to the warehouse to pick and pack orders. So I'll show you what I sold and how much it sold for once we get to the warehouse. Look at that weather, look. Better than ice, I suppose. So I'm back at the warehouse now. So as you can see, there's 25 orders going out. And let's see how much it totals to. So 1,157 pounds 78p. And that is the orders going out from Friday, I believe. So I don't understand how. Oh, yeah. So what happened was I packed some, obviously, Friday. So this is basically friday night and saturday orders going out and then today we got uh 123 pounds so far so friday 971 saturday 465 and the past 31 days is 19,000. so i got a pack out now like i said i packed a load on friday and they've already gone out the door but this is what's still to pack. So nice pair of um, Nike trainers, brand new, 7.5 UK. These went for, I'll put up screenshots as well in case I get any prices wrong. Um, I believe they went for 85 on an offer, I think. An Art Deco cocktail shaker. Bad, you went for 50 quid. Mental. And then, just a vintage... Uh, I went for a phase where I used to buy these all the time. Because I used to get 20, 25. I still get that price, but they sit around for so long. Anyways, a vintage glass roses sweet jar. That went for... 18 or 20... These here are nice, rare as well. So if you remember not that long ago when I've got that massive pub clear out, that massive pub collection, pub memorabilia. Yeah, got that in the end. Anyway, these are some Whitbread lamps. But as you can see, cables have been cut and it's the same on that one. And also the lampshades, like this one's still got the, um, the rim to hold it on that one is not as missing so you can move that like up and down they're all crushed and dirty and dented they are horrendous condition but i don't know if you can see it that well it's been made to look like there's an actual drink inside it so they'll need rewiring but they look pretty cool anyway i accepted an offer on them for 85 pound for the pair in that condition if they was in bad condition i could have got 150 plus i reckon because someone sold just one in even worse condition than that again for i think 100 quid but that was the only sold i had seen there's none listed none sold well there is now mine next we have just a pub ashtray so that probably owes me like 50p or a pound. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with picking up ashtrays. I think it's just nostalgia for like back in the day when you had them in the pub. But I wouldn't recommend buying them, even if you get them for 50p or a pound, because they don't sell for much and they take so long to sell. That again was an offer accepted for just seven pound. And I've had that for a long time. Next, this only got listed on it Friday, I believe. And it's sold already. It's an Ann Peebles, I Can't Stand the Rain, 12-inch vinyl record. That, I think that was an offer accepted for 18 quid. And it probably owes me like 10p or something. Then we have this Burke House Fleece 
jacket. Nothing special. That was listed for 25. I accepted an offer for um, 18. 18 or 22. You'll see with the screenshots. This here again is just a, a whiskey water jug. Nothing amazing. The SKU number is just so I know what tub it is. Um, that came with the, the big pub lot. That sold for £12, I think. And what do we have next? This here. <clears throat> so, this is a Pioneer stack system. Just them three bits there. So, it's the tuner, the amp, and the tape deck, I believe. Paid a fiver for that at car boot. And it sold for £39.99. Next, we have. <coughs> Just a DeWalt drill, that went for 35, probably owes me a tenner. Then we have a, a vintage antique leather top wine table. Now these, these sell well for me. I sell them all day long at 30 to 50 pound a pop, depending on how old they are. And this one went for 40 pound. Probably owes me five or ten pounds from auction. This one here, it's just a little uh, Singstar bundle that went for twenty pounds on an offer. Probably owes me a couple quid. This here, I've had him for about a year, maybe two years. It's just a monitor. Um, that's the brand there. Owes me probably five pounds. I accepted an offer for 40 quid. They, I think it's like a heart rate monitor or something, or a barcode monitor. Not too sure, not many on eBay. But I accepted an offer for 40 quid, get it out the door. It was listed for 50. I originally had it up for 100 maybe. And over time, I've just gradually brought it down. But it's gone now, so I ain't got to worry about that. Here's some packing that's already been done. So, in there is two resuscitation dolls. That went for £195 for the pair. This is a, a heater. That went for, I believe, £50. Um, some Union Jack Dot Martins, I bought them for me, but they were just slightly too big, so I sold them on. Um, what did they go for? 80, 80, yeah. I could be wrong on that. Um, another Hitachi stack system, or stereo, that went for, what did that go for, 40? Um, 50 random CDs, I just sell them for 15 quid, free postage. Again, with these, that's just 50 vinyls. I, I just bundle them up as, as a random job lot, get 20, 2 .99 free postage. Down here we have a, so that long one down there, that's a fire grate. That only got listed on Thursday or Friday. And it sold for, I think, 50? Maybe more than that. Um, ah, loft hatches. So in there, that's two loft hatches. They owe me a fiver each. And um, I, I must have got about 10 or 15 of them. And they only got listed a week ago and I've sold like four already. Brand new in the box. Uh, they owe me five for each of this. So for thirty nine ninety nine, free postage each. But even if I get offers in for around twenty five or above, I'm just accepting them, just to get them out the door. So I believe that is all the sales so far. So it was not many, not many really, but it is what it is. Then I got this. So. 
as I'm running out of uh, brown paper, as you can see. So I've brought these. Um, no label on them, but they are 50 centimeter and they are five meters long. Yeah, there we go. I've got a pallet of them. There's a thousand robes in there. So on eBay, they go for five or six pound per row, free postage. I've got a thousand of them. If anyone wants any, pound a row plus postage. And then I've got that coming. That is 360 rows of tape. Yes. And while we're here, just appreciate the floor space. That's my son's bike, yeah, he was riding it. Um, so yeah, I've had a little tidy up. This is death pile. It looks like a lot, but it's not. Well, not for me anyway. Big dog, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, let's just appreciate all this floor space. Look at that. It'll be filled up again soon, no doubt. And again, another appreciation for this. Absolute beast. It's up for 12 grand. I've got 11 watches on it. 19th century, hand carved, opium bed, or a marriage bed, whatever you want to call it. What is that? There he is, boys. That is, ah, oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's not Warhammer, but it's something similar. That's gonna bug me now. Anyway, that's up for 1,250 with a missing ear. And uh, I got loads of watches on that as well. So I'm gonna get these orders packed up and then I'll see you on the next clip. Just realized I had these as well. So that's just an audio cassette. I bang them out at a fiver plus two pound postage. That's just a, a castle main beer mat. They go as a large letter. They're listed at 279 and free postage. This is a record. Um, that went for £10. And that record there went for £8. And while I'm here, look at these. So this is Devonport, Plymouth. It's like a massive diorama if that's how you pronounce it. So, it's hard to see how big they are. Well, anyway, there's the racking, so you can sort of get an idea. They're about six inches below my shoulder. And it's just the uh, development of Devonport in Plymouth. Paid 100 pound, I got caught up in the moment at auction. But I've got three of them. So it's just the uh, development stages. So there's another one. And there's another one. I don't know. Ooh. I just really like them. I'm going to aim for three, four hundred and just see what happens as a set. So all three of them. But if anyone's got any information about this or want some for themselves, then message me and I'm sure we can sort something out. So when you buy job blocks at auction, sometimes you get stuff you don't want. Like this, for example, is a pink dressing gown. So I've bung it in the wash and I'll use it as packaging. So that's all the parcels packed. That's parcel force ready to be dropped off at the depot tomorrow. And then that's Yogo's going out. And in here, ready for Royal Mail collection, is the Royal Mail ones. Another three orders have just come in, so I thought I'd pick them and pack them while I'm here. 
So this is a baby sham ashtray that went for 15. That's a beer font. So is a like where the beer pump is on the bar that would go behind it for the customers to see. And that went for 35. And then we got a musical whiskey decanter and that went for 20 on an offer. So last Yodel parcels dropped off. So now I'm going to head home and see if a messes can teach me how to edit a video and hopefully get this video out to you guys tonight. So if it's not very good, that's my fault because I'm not very good with technology. So good luck. Woo! Hit that subscribe button, baby.